Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time around, it belongs to Cheryl Gnome. So, let's go take a look at her episode plate featuring her, well, Fairy Durandal costume. Yes, that's the name of her Valkyrie costume this time around. And she is looking sexy as always. Yes, even Ranka does look sexy because Ranka barely wears anything that revealing. <laughs> but let's take a look at her episode plate and see whether, well, her episode plate is actually better than Ranka's or on par. Alright, so 3674 total score, about the same as Ranka's. Um, of course, focusing on charm, which is exactly what the song requires. S rank, center skill. But look at the percentage. With that percentage, you can tell immediately that Cheryl's episode plate is also a life skill support episode plate. Huh. So I guess the center position episode plate for this event is still Freya's um, 7 star episode plate, I suppose. Because, well, the 7 star plates affect the bonus points for all the events throughout the whole month. So I guess that's reasonable. Alright, so. Active skill, for 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So that's a pretty okay active skill for this current event, especially if you have a hard time trying to get that full combo on the extreme difficulty, or whichever difficulty you can master. Alright, life skill, combo bonus. Fantastic, fantastic life skill, uh, especially since uh, if you have a hard time trying to get a better new high score, uh, it's always good to have this kind of um, life skill around but of course it means that you need to be able to retain your combo throughout the whole life itself so I guess her active skill is beneficial for her own life skill as well so that's pretty fantastic alright so let's take a look at the last page which is the most important one uh, to say whether this play is actually better than Ranka's or on par. But of course, you want to take note of the other three divas who are equitable with this episode plate. Surprisingly enough, Reyna is in the lineup. I don't know. Even Min Mei. I, I don't see any, you know, characteristic values that's similar to Cheryl from Reyna and Min Mei. I don't know. Maybe Reyna because of her Sun 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 characteristics. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Min Mei. Uh, I don't see anything <laughs> at all. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Dana, that's that's just how they want to play around with you. Okay, so last page. Oh, okay. So apparently this episode play is on the same level of uh, you know the tiering that Ranka's episode play is at. Um, so if you would ask me, is this episode play actually worth your singing stones? I would say probably not because they are definitely better episode plates probably from the same element with a higher total score with the same life skill and probably with one of these <laughs> out there so in terms of um, I guess hardcore play you might probably want to skip this gacha but if you're a Cheryl fan, and of course, if you're a costume collector, uh, well, I guess you have no choice then. Toss your singing stones into this gacha! Uh, just like me, I suppose. I'm. Because, well, I'm a YouTuber, so I have no choice. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's do this. I managed to dig up a few uh, hundred singing stones out from the event itself, and of course, the bonus locking um, rewards. I managed to muster up at least. 300 singing stones for this gacha pool. So let's do this. Um, hopefully, with all the gacha pools I did for Ranka, my bad luck might have been drained a bit, and I probably may be able to get some costume points out of this gacha for Cheryl's costume. Because, yes, her costume is locked behind this gacha. There is no other way you can attain her costume except by tossing in singing stones into this one. So let's try. Let's try at least to get some costume points, you know, for unlocking, unlocking this costume. 
because I would like to see what kind of special animation she will have. You know, just like Ramkas, where she fire missiles out of her body. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it's a pretty mediocre rate. Alright, two red boxes. As long as some new plates appear, I'm I'm good. Yeah, hey, give me the chance of using the episode orbs to unlock the costume. That's fine. Here we go. Alright, no evolution to the box. Okay, old episode plate. Hopefully the last red box grants us something nice. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> They're all old episode plates. Oh god. Oh wait. Hey! Okay, so Osma managed to give me some points, but that is far from what we need. <laughs> oh god. Let's go take a look how many points I am short. Uh, just to unlock her costume, because I do have enough large episode orbs to fully unlock a costume uh, but I do I really want to <laughs> spend that many episode orbs just to unlock this oh I mean considering that the song doesn't have a unit life it's a bit of a waste all right oh my god <laughs> that, is, that is still drastically <laughs> a big amount <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. I've got 15 large ones. I can definitely unlock the costume. Um, I need 50. Do I have... Yeah, I do have enough small ones. Okay, I, I guess I can do this. It's gonna be painful though. I definitely want to keep my singing stones for future gachas. Especially for Ranka's uh, future 7 star episode play. I don't know when that will happen. Probably not next month considering that we just got new costumes for the Frontier Girls so probably they might still follow the trend of Walkure um, considering that Mikumo is the only one who still has not got her Uragiranai costume hmm. but it's hard to say uh, it's still up to Dana's hands to uh, decide how they want to leech the money off of us so okay um, let's do this Yes, it's a painful thing to watch, but it has to happen. Um, unlike Rankas, I have yet to unlock her costume as well, um, because I'm still grinding the event for her episode plates and trying to unlock it, well, the discounted way. Alright, so here is Cheryl Gnome's Fairy Durandal costume. Yes, this is what it is. It is a costume designed um, to look like a Valkyrie. Um, so, well, like I've said in my Ranka video, uh, both of the costumes look somewhat like an uh, inspiration from the Risa Abata's costume design for Makutama, which is the official Macross fan club. Um, she did do an illustration, I think it was a few years ago, with Cheryl and Ranka wearing a Valkyrie design costume as well. But that design was way more sexy than this one. Uh, this one has a bit more covering <laughs> on their bodies. Uh, but still, a very lovely design. Loving the color red, white. I mean, the standard Valkyrie stuff. So, yeah. Anyway guys, what do you guys think about the episode plate itself? What do you guys think of Cheryl's costume and Ranka's costume? Let me know in the comments down below as always. And of course, leave a like to this video if you appreciate the content as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I guess next month then. Hmm. Until then, bye!